2K finally did it guys and we have to hurry up and get tokens because for the first time this year we actually have something worth getting in the token markets and like the video right now if you still need me to buy you the new season pass and also let me know down below in the comments a player that you're trying to get in 2K for the new season and obviously you know at the moment we got to get tokens. Now I ended up getting a couple you know we have four tokens right now which is definitely a little bit but we got to get more because with the new update with the new season they actually updated the token market for the first time this year that's actually worth getting and look at this right here we got a 100 overall guaranteed 100 overall ricky davis and he's really good i highly recommend him like do not waste your tokens on getting Jalen brunson i know maybe if you're a knicks fan you're considering picking him up but do not use your tokens outside of just getting ricky davis like he's 100 percent worth getting let me know if you guys have gotten him already because i know some of you guys be grinding like crazy y'all be wild in even though i do miss the days when 2k would update the token market consistently instead of just making it you know one time a season maybe they'll add more guaranteed 100 overall players you know that could happen i do want to see what else they added over here their season eight prize balls i'm pretty sure with these balls right here you know pause but if you play with enough balls you can definitely get some good rewards again big pause right there you know i've seen people get deluxe packs i've seen people get certain players they've got an mt they've got a stuff like that and so it's one token for a season eight prize ball and then there are a limited amount of tokens available per season and any remaining tokens at the end of the season will expire that's something they did this year even though like i mentioned earlier this is the first time that we actually have something worth getting in the token markets they do still have the kobe shoes right here five tokens Again, though, I would definitely save your tokens and definitely go after the Ricky Davis. They have an option pack here, too, for uh, some boost, which... I definitely wouldn't spend my tokens on that. Same with the Diamond Shoe Pack, just because you can get that elsewhere. But the Kobe Shoes are great if you do want to put that on some players. I actually have a lot of those already in my collection because that's really the only thing that you could even... Like, that was worth getting for tokens in previous seasons. Except, finally, we have something worth getting. And there's still more that I got to show you guys. Now, obviously, with Ricky Davis right here and then the prize balls, these are probably the two things that you definitely want to, you know, get in the token markets. Because, like I said, with the Season 8 prize ball, you could maybe get a Deluxe Pack. At the moment, we do have the Smooth Set, which, you know, there's sometimes just random Deluxe Packs. Sometimes there's regular packs, and so you could still walk away with, like, a Dark Matter, a Galaxy Oval, a Pink Diamond, a Gold Player, a 100 overall player, maybe a Taco Fall. That'd be pretty crazy. Let me know if you guys ended up getting Taco, because that's one player I'm trying to get, even though the only way to get that is obviously, you know, risking it for the biscuit. But the token market, man, it's finally, you know, it's not how it used to be. Back in its glory day, oh, man, it was crazy. Do you guys miss it? I want you to comment right now, I miss the token markets. Like how it used to be because ricky davis is great you know i'm gonna show you guys how good he is i do want to see jackson too because he can play the shooting guard position he usually gets a card that you can get for free by grinding it and obviously tokens are free you get them by playing you know different game modes doing certain things in the season and then once you get 40 tokens you definitely want to buy ricky davis right away and of course i gotta show you guys everything now i do want to take a look like i said with ricky we're gonna see because i think i have a ricky in my collection so i do want to see how he's moving and grooving out here obviously with the new season there's a lot of new players and the database uh, broke on me uh oh it's not loading i broke it let me see if i can click this there we go so obviously with all the players they added you know ricky davis is definitely one of those players that everybody needs to get and then of course you know i do want to see brunson because i did see some people say that like brunson is decent you know he's 6-2 though yeah i definitely would not spend my tokens like obviously if you end up getting more than 40 tokens then after that, you could uh, buy that, even though I would buy the prize boss, honestly. But Jalen Brunson right here, you know, he has his lower, upper, very quick release timing, Kyrie dribble style. He's got himself a normal leaner. So, yeah, I definitely, I, I wouldn't even bother, honestly, with Jalen Brunson, sadly. And then, of course, we do have the other player that I mentioned, you know, Jackson over here. He's usually pretty good because he's 6'8", so that's a really good height you know, for the shooting guard position. And if you've been playing 2K for a while, you know how good Jackson is every single year. So he does come with great Hall of Fame badges. You guys can see the stats are amazing as well. But the animations, let's take a look. So he does have the Drogic lower. Okay, Chris upper, Kyrie dribble side. That release definitely is going to be great. And then he does have a Pro 2 leaner. He's always good every single year, especially at 6'8". He's a must-have player, but only after you get 40 tokens for Ricky Davis. This is after you end up getting more tokens, because you can get tokens throughout the whole season, right? And then, of course, the big one, as I just broke the database, uh-oh, the big one is going to be Ricky! My boy Ricky! Oh my goodness, I wonder what all the comments are saying for uh for him. Top three shooting guard in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, he's definitely going to be up there for sure. Ultra goaded. They're like, heck yeah, finally, uh, exactly, finally! Moncrief in Season 5 and Mike in Season 9 were good, too. I, they were okay, but, like, this is a guaranteed 100 overall player, though, you know what I mean? I feel like he's definitely the best one. Those two players were definitely good as well, like Moncrief, great defender. 
and stuff like that. And my boy George, I ended up getting him last minute. Although the database is really broken right now. Uh oh. Uh -oh. But yeah, you guys can see even the community is excited for it. And then, of course, I mean, almost every Hall of Fame badge, the only ones he doesn't have are like Aerial Wizard, Dream Shake, and then, of course, these three gold badges, and then three of them. Basically, I mean, he, he, he's him, bro. Top three, like like the common sense, top three shooting guard, I consider him like maybe top five because there's definitely a lot of great shooting guards out there. But in terms of getting a player guaranteed that you don't have to gamble for or risk it for the biscuit, he's definitely top five for sure. Seth Curry lower, big O upper, and then Kyrie dribble style as the database crashed on me again. Oh my goodness. They don't want me to show you guys the sauce, man, the cheese right here. And then he does have, uh, what's his uh, leaner? Everybody loves leaning out there. No more leaner. He does have the Kemba Walker escape, though. He's, he's basically a dribble god. If you know how to dribble, Steve Francis size up too. Oh, no, this man is, is him. Now, he does have a dark matter, but with the database struggling right now, I don't know if I can compare. Yeah, it's like struggling at the moment. Uh-oh, I think I broke the database. Th this card is so good. It broke the game. It broke the database. It broke everything. Even though I do have a Davis. Oh, yeah, it's not even loading. I'm pretty sure his animations are the same though as his Dark Matter. It's just that it doesn't want to load. But I am assuming it is. Actually, we can just check because I do have a... Uh, well, we can see, you know, the one that I have in my collection, which, you know, we can add him into a quick little team. You know, we got the Cavs, you know, over here. We got to take a look at Ricky. Is that him? Is that Ricky over there? There he is, Mr. Ricky. So 6-7, really good card, guys. 100 overall. Again, that's going to be the token market. I do have the Vortex one because Tuka actually released him, I think, for MT. And I ended up picking him up because I wanted to, you know, add it to the collection. Because he's always really good in 2K. And so, obviously, you know, once you end up getting the 100 overall, it's going to be better than that one. But let's take a look at how he's moving, how he's grooving, how he's doing his thing up in here. Oh, my goodness, Ricky! I think, w w what was the year that he had a really good card where, like, everybody wanted him? Like, when they first, oh, no, yeah, dude, he's like, oh. I'm not a dribble god by any means, but trust me, if you, if you know how to dribble in this game... Like, he's gonna be your best, like, ball handler, shot creator. Like, he's he's literally him, and he can drive to the basket. And this is the Dark Matter one, by the way. Once you get the 100 overall, you got 99 everything. That release is smooth like butter, bro. Oh, my goodness, from way downtown, no way. Bang! No, dude, Ricky, dude, you gotta hurry up and get the tokens for him. Even though, also, if you do all that leaner, yeah, it's not the Pro 2, it's the normal one. But you can still hit it, though. You already know. Everybody loves leaning in my team. They wilding out here. But man, this dude, bro, like I said, if you know how to dribble with him, or just in general, like, you you can get very saucy. Oh my goodness. Even though with the Season 8 prize balls, I mean, you can get other rewards there too. Yeah, that release. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, that was a glitch in the system. Y'all saw that? Everything's glitching. The database, the game, and Ricky, he's so glitchy, he's breaking the game. And like I said, the fact that you can get, oh, he flying. The fact you can get him guaranteed makes it even better. Because that's one of the players you want to get in the new season, especially with everything that 2K is adding. And now I know some of you guys are going to ask me, how do you get tokens, right? I might do like a breakdown video on how to get like all the tokens, but basically you just want to play game modes. That's really where it's at. You know, for example, in Triple Dirt Offline, you get two tokens for 10 wins. Basically, after every certain amount of wins, you do get tokens. And that's going to be for every single, you know, game mode out there. So it's going to be Triple Dirt Offline, Clutch Time. So it really just comes down to, like, which one you prefer. That's that's one thing that I do like sometimes that 2K does is where, you know, you can actually get the rewards elsewhere. And then that way you can do whatever you want. You know, for example, right here at 15 wins, you get two tokens. You end up getting more tokens throughout all the wins that you do end up getting. You know, you also get MT2. Of course, all the other rewards you guys have been adding. And then they are going to be adding more 100 overall players for free, you know, through the game modes. Because they already updated it with, uh, you know, we did have James Harden at the moment. He's going to get updated, of course. And so there's more free 100 overall players coming, which I do like. Finally, 2K is giving us more 100 overall players. But like I mentioned, though, the tokens, that's one thing you want to do right now. Because as soon as I get 40 tokens, I'm going to bring you guys a gameplay on this 100 overall Ricky Davis. And so stay tuned for more. In the meantime, check out the other free stuff. Check out the other videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.